According to the Congressional Coalition on Adoption Institute, there are half a million kids in foster care in America. It is such a sad statistic. Even more heartbreaking, many of these children will spend their entire childhoods without knowing the love of a family. Right now, more than 100,000 American children are waiting and hoping to be adopted. Today, we are so delighted to have Emmy Award-winning TV producer and reporter Gia Tutelomote, founder of Forever Family, a nonprofit organization dedicated to finding these children loving homes, and Mari Parrish, who was adopted after being featured on the Forever Family program. Good morning. Good morning. Thank, Thank you so much for being for here. Thanks for having us. Too. Thank you, Mari, for being so here. So excited yeah. to be here. Gia, let's talk about Forever Family. What exactly is this? Forever Family is a nonprofit media organization. All of our media time on different TV stations throughout the state of Florida are don is donated to us, and we feature stories about adoption, about foster care, and about the need for everyday people to step up and make a difference in the lives of these children. Locally, we're sponsored by the Children's Services Council of Broward County, and everything we do is to make life better for foster children and teens. That is great. Now, Mari, you were featured on Forever Family. You were in foster care for some four years. Tell me about that. Do you remember? Yes, I do. What was it like? It was foster home. It wasn't so good, but at times it was is that I always wanted a mom and dad, and I was glad that I had my brothers by my side the whole time. And they were with you, but yeah. still, you didn't have a family, family, you didn't really have a home, and you were being moved from one place to, to another. another. Yes. Jill, why is it so difficult for these children to be adopted? What's going on? Honestly, um, I believe it's public perception and awareness. There, you know, we hear all the time of people going overseas to adopt children. Yeah. Um, most people, maybe they're not aware that foster kids are here and they're available for adoption or they're older or they're part of a sibling group. Um, and we just need to get the word out that they're not bad kids. They're not kids who've done anything wrong. They're kids who've had things done wrong to them. Mm -hmm. And we really need to help them. I mean, as a child, what could be sadder than not having the love of a family? Yeah, I can't imagine. Yeah. You brought us a very special video of some children. Tell yeah. me about it before we look at um, it. We're going to look at uh, four or five teenagers and children who are really hoping and waiting to be adopted. And it's my job, I feel, to bring their stories to the public and hope and pray that a family will come to them. Let's take a look real quick, please. Be thankful for what you have because a lot of kids in that, like this country don't have parents and it's really hard. I like to see to have a good family one that could be there for me when I need to cry and stuff like that. Because um, I love to be with a family and mom and dad and stuff. And I just like being with a family and stuff so I can be me. And I just really want to have that experience to have my own mother and my own father. I've been waiting so long for it and I haven't gotten it. And it, sometimes I see this kid with this family I'm like, man, you know, sometimes when I go home, I just pray. Oh, what precious children. And I love the way he ended by saying, I pray. Yeah. Mari, you were on Forever Family. Yes. You were adopted with your two brothers. You all stayed together. Tell me about that moment when you found a loving home. I was so happy that I actually had a mom and dad and to call them my parents and to know they love me and to have my own room and <laughs> <laughs> and they take care of you yes i see you in a cheerleading outfit tell me about that yeah it was fun like i got to be on the football field and cheer on the boys out of my brothers when they play football and you guys are very close yes that's excellent gia mari is a great story if someone is watching out there right now and saying well what can i do how, how do I get the process going? I would say please call us at 888-365-FAMILY or log on to foreverfamily.org and you know we will return your call as quickly as possible and we'll walk you through the steps no matter where you are in the nation or the world. We'll get you started on how to help these That's kids. That's great. Now, something I do want the viewers to know is that you were honored in Washington. You actually received the Congressional award yes. because of what you're doing yeah. with Forever Family. Tell me about that as we look um, at the, the pictures and I, video. Congressman Hastings um, nominated me for the Congressional Angels and Adoption Award um, put on by the Congressional Coalition on Adoption Institute. So it was a pretty big deal. Members of the Obama administration were there. Hillary Clinton was there. It was so 
humbling of an experience. I mean, I felt like I was in such amazing company. There are so many good people out there doing good things. And I have to say, Congressman Hastings and Congresswoman Wasserman Schultz, Senator Nelson, there really is a movement. And they've come on board as well to really help us expand this thing and use the awareness that we've created to start a movement in this country for these kids. You also have great members helping you. Yes, in fact, you have a Jeanette Sperano. Yes. She is the wife of Miami Dolphins head coach Tony Sperano. She is. And Tell she, me about her oh, involvement. She's such a fabulous lady and she was just honored with Woman of the Year in South Florida. So we're just so, th this is a woman who would really give you the shirt off her back. She is such a kind woman. She's such a loving mom. They've raised three children together. And um, she's she just wants, she helps not only Forever Family, but many organizations, but she feels so close to this issue that she decided to come on the executive board to really help us guide this thing in the right direction. Mari, I'm going to end with you. Okay. You're very happy today, aren't you? Yes. Tell me how your life has changed now that you have a mom and dad. It has changed because now it's, I won't, I won't have bad feelings anymore. I'm so happy. I'm able to do, like, where if I would like, if I would like have an interest in something, I have the ability to do what I like. And you have the loving family and a loving home. Yes. I'm and so my happy brothers. for you. Thank you. No, thank you both for being here thank very you much. Thank so much. And please keep us posted on any of these kids. I if will. they do get adopted, we'd love to hear a wonderful feedback that maybe one of these children got a home. I will absolutely do that. Thank Gia. you so much. No, thank we you for what you do. We truly appreciate it. We no, need no. this awareness. Thank you. And if you'd like to learn more about Forever Family, you can call the number on the screen, 888-365-FAMILY, or log on to their website, foreverfamily.org.